your belly and your breath feels charred when you yawn and your cave is covered in cobwebs and suddenly a hundred years are gone when it seems as if your surroundings have all been tossed and twirled remember things happen at the right time and you got all the time in the world oh yes when you fly around in a tizzy and your wings are pumping stale air and you know something weird is happening Cause everything is different everywhere When you can't find a knight or a dragon And there's nowhere to get your horn curled Remember things happen at the right time And you got all the time in the world Yes, you got all the time in the world and I understand you're the building manager, but I would prefer it if you'd knock before you came in. I did. I knocked, then I came in. <laughs> What's the problem this time? You've been talking to yourself again. I'm rehearsing. I've got a chance at a really good job. Another banana slice floating in a cereal bowl. <laughs> I'm auditioning tomorrow for the part of a weatherman on the New Haven at Noon show. I've seen that show. It's rotten. <laughs> Here, I wrote down a new list of building rules. That's the fourth list this week. My record is seven. So what's new? Well, Friday I'm getting a boil lanced. I meant on the list. Oh, the no pets regulation now extends from no warm-blooded mammals to reptiles. What made you decide that? Mr. Dooley's boa constrictor constricted Mrs. Feldman's parrot. How's the parrot? Polly won a coffin. Oh, Mrs. Brack, can you do me a favor and you pick up Jess after school tomorrow? Oh, sure, I'll pick her up right after ballet. Thank oh, no, she doesn't have a ballet lesson tomorrow. Not her lesson. Mine. <laughs> the weather today in New Haven will be... Daddy? Jess, what are you doing out of bed? I had a bad dream. You want to tell me about it? Come here. There are monsters chasing me. And I was running and they couldn't get away. That sounds scary. It was. You know, I used to have dreams like that. You did? Mm-hmm. But there's nothing to worry about. You see, monsters don't really exist. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. <laughs> Can we get a big dog anyway? Just in case. Come here, come here. See, everybody dreams about strange creatures and scary monsters. But things like that, they're only in storybooks. They're not real. Really? Really, I promise. Those kinds of things, they're just make-believe. All right, darling, time for bed. Can't I stay up just a little while? No, it's way past your bedtime. Come on. Ah! What is that? There's something outside. What? I don't know. I talk. All dragons talk. <laughs> I don't believe this. Dad, he says he's a dragon. I am a dragon. Uh, no, you're not a dragon because there's no such thing as a dragon. <laughs> oh, hello, police. Gosh, I've got such an emergency here. A wild animal just broke into my house. Some sort of like large lizard dragon talking kind of thing. Hello? Hello? Dad, what are we going to do with him? I think we should feed him. We're not talking to you, okay? What's your problem? Wake up on the wrong side of the cave this morning? <laughs> Daddy, I think he's funny. So do I. <laughs> Aren't you kind of small for a dragon? Huh. I'm only 1,300 years old. I'm just a teenager. I'm not even shaving on my wings yet. Whatever you are, I want you out of here. Hey, hey, watch it with the broom, Ivanhoe. I'm going, I'm going. I'm going? Going where? Well, in search of other dragons, of course. Up to the sky, up to the sky, up to the clouds, this dragon will fly! <laughs> oh! Holy bellnets! What's the matter? What's the matter? I overslept for a hundred years. My family's gone. I get hit by lightning and now I can't fly! I am not a happy dragon! Jess, where are you going? You gotta let him back in. 
No, we don't. Can't you just say until he can fly again? I'll feed him. I'll walk him. I'll put papers under him. Jess, we can't. Mrs. Bracken, she won't let us keep a turtle, let alone a dragon. But I've always wanted a dragon. You never said that before. I don't tell you everything. <laughs> well, you guys knock off the yapping. How did you get in here? Through the door. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna take a little nap. Take a little nap? Okay. Wait a minute, that wasn't a suggestion. Hey, I'm trying to sleep here. Jeez, this guy never shuts up. I heard that. I heard that too. I didn't say anything. You made a face. You heard me make a face? Dragons have very sensitive ears. As a matter of fact, I was the first one to hear Nero fiddle while Rome burned. And I was in France at the time. <laughs> I was in France at the time. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Dad, what are we going to do? Let him stay till morning. Stay till morning? Okay, it's a deal. <laughs> well, I guess I'll stand guard and you get some sleep. Okay. Good night. Good night. She was talking to me. I was talking to both of you. Yes, are you? <laughs> you are a silly dragon. Uh, well, thank you, toy human. How'd you sleep? Like this. <laughs> wake up, wake up. Oh, hi. Hi, I'm Jessica. I'm Scorch. Who's he? Oh, that's my father, Brian. So, where's your mother? Living with her new husband. Hmm. How come? Dad didn't want him living here. I miss my mom. She used to read to me at night. Mm. I miss mine, too. I haven't seen her in a hundred years. She used to sing to me. rock a bye baby, scaly and green. Hundreds of warts, the sweetest I've seen. <laughs> Beware of the knight who carries a lance, or you might end up with a lance in your pants. <laughs> What is it? You wouldn't understand. <laughs> I want you out of here. You're gonna throw a dragon out on an empty stomach? You want breakfast? Well, if you insist. <laughs> Dad, do I have to go to school today? Can't I stay home with him? No, you can't stay home with him. I don't even want him in my house. I feel the same way about you, but you don't hear me complaining. <laughs> Come on, Jessica, I'll get you some breakfast. I'm so hungry, I could eat a porcupine. You would actually eat a porcupine? Sure, if it's ripe. <laughs> Wouldn't the quill stick in your throat? Not if you eat it face first. <laughs> Come on, Jessica, you gotta get ready for school. Okay. Huh. The weather today in New Haven is partly cloudy. What's this? Do you mind? I'm rehearsing for the part of a weatherman. Oh, let me guess. An out-of-work actor. I happen to be very good at it. Mm -hmm. Brian Stevens' portrayal of Puck was both energetic and inspired. For Oberon is passing fell in wrath because that she and her attendant hath half. a lovely boy stolen from an Indian king. She never had so sweet a changeling. You know Shakespeare? I didn't really know him. But my family vacationed near his house for about eight fortnights. Every day we'd hear his wife yelling, Bill, you're such a slob. Would it be so hard once in a while to pick up a cod piece and toss it in the dirty clothes? All set. What do you want to do about Scorch? Who? Him. I'll be okay. I guess I'll just mosey out into the streets of, where are we? New Haven. New Haven and take my chances. Oh, no, 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 you can't do that. If someone sees you, they'll grab you and they'll toss your tail into a laboratory. You're absolutely right. You'll have to take me with you. Where, to my audition? Okay. No, it's not okay. Like I said, someone would see you. Hmm. I've got it. You can put a handle on me and pretend I'm your luggage. Look, I won't move a muscle. <laughs> Sorry. 
sorry? Sorry? After all we've been through? The laughter, the petty bickering, the rainy night we spent together. Please, 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 please. Dad, he's asking very nicely. Jess, I can't. Oh, please! <laughs> it's not gonna work. Okay, well afraid you'll leave me with no recourse. If you don't take me with you, I'll be forced to inflict serious damage to your personal property. Oh, really? Like what? Hmm. How's this for openers? <laughs> Holy bellnets! I'll get your hat. Everyone knows that drinking and driving don't mix. But the time to decide who'll drink and who'll drive is before anyone has a drink. Choose a designated driver while you still have a choice. What's going on out there? Where am I? Ow! <laughs> Barney Strange? Barney Strange? The last call now for our Barney Streams. Um, could that be Brian Stevens? I don't know. I just got the job. <laughs> Nerds! Nerds! Hey, should I close the door? I don't care. As you know, the job is for our weather person. Inexperience is preferred since it'll cost us less. Read. Good morning. The weather today in New Haven is Thank you. Cloudy. Would you like to see something different? No, that was great. Thanks. Sure. Ow! What was that? Nothing. That's right. Nothing. Nothing at all. Hold it. Open the bag. There's nothing in there. It's just an old radio. What's a radio? If you don't open it up, I will. Please don't. All right, no, buddy. No, please, please. No. It's very rare. Okay. It's an antique. No. I was in the Coast Guard Reserve, yeah. pal. Yeah. It's not with me. All right. All right. <laughs> Get that thing away from me. <sighs> What's going on? What is that thing? Uh, he's, um, he's my dummy. I'm your what? My dummy. Is it a ventriloquist and his dummy? What's a ventriloquist? I'll explain it to you later. And don't talk at the same time I do. Why not? Because it's impossible. Hey, would you watch your hand back there? I think you've got a hangnail. Sorry. Dude. Thank you. Finished? I'm finished. We're finished. Mm. Here's a contract. Do the weather, be funny, don't ask for a raise while I'm still alive, and we'll get along fine. You're not a bad ventriloquist. Thank you. I hate ventriloquists. You're on in ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> You're serious. Uh, wouldn't it be better if I rehearsed? Uh, look, I don't think without preparation, I'd be very good. <laughs> On this show, not very good is fine. <laughs> How about tomorrow? I'm an actor. I need to find my motivation. You want motivation? Today going once, today going twice. I'm motivated. <laughs> you got a tie? Sorry. Here. <laughs> I'll introduce you around. <laughs>